so. I think so. Is there anything blocking your queue, little buddy? Hold on, let's move that. Yes. Oh, the machine is, but we can sort that out in a minute, Freddie, when I finish using the machine. Good. Good morning. Or should I just say welcome? Welcome, replayers. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. I've got another view here because obviously you want to see Freddie, and there's quite a lot going on in the desk, but. We've had a creative week, haven't we, Flo? <laughs> and it's really nice in these times just to share a bit of face-to-face -face time with the friends. <laughs> oh, and there's, oh, there's Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl. So nice to see you. <laughs> Freddie loves you, of course, Cheryl. He sat there. Oh, and Ruth. Oh, Ruth. Um, I'd love to see on the prompt game last week, Sue's gave us a challenge, didn't she, Ruth? And you did your prompt game in fabric. I'd love to see how that came out. Maybe I'll be in one of the Facebook groups this week. And I'm going to take that, take you up on that challenge, Ruth and Sue's. I'm going to do my prompt game this week in fabric. Other people can do theirs in um, in paper and if they want to, but I'm going to sew mine. <laughs> what a challenge, Ruth. <laughs> There's Janice. Good morning, Janice. Oh, so nice to see you. So, so glad that you could spend a little bit of time with us while you get ready for work. Sending love, Janice. <laughs> oh, and don't let me mi miss anybody out. There's Tina. Good morning, Tina. So nice to see you. I hope that you are well, Tina. Oh, gathering your strength. And there's Dixie. Dixie's got coffee. And Dixie, it was one of your videos I watched. You make journals, don't you? Ah, oh, sweet peas crafting. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's 1am here, so definitely morning. Oh my goodness, 1am. We have people from all over the world. Sweet Pea, welcome back. Just to mention uh, that one of Ben's tooth fairies used to be called Sweet Pea. <laughs> just, just saying, such a wonderful name. <laughs> oh, there's Kimberly. Run for the cookies, Kimberly. I've made scones today. Oh, you can't just quite see them in shot. <laughs> There's Christy. So nice to see you too. And your wonderfully acrobatic um, young lady cat. So nice to see you. And there's lovely Malaya. You are lovely, Malaya. Oh, and your lovely girls. How um, is your little girl getting on with the sewing? Is she enjoying it? Oh, there's Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Oh, Barbara, it's so cold in Canada. Absolutely freezing. You keep warm. Come on in, Barbara, and sit with us. We've got the smell of baking here. I've made some cheese scones, so just come in and relax and have a nice warm drink with us, Barbara, dear. And there's Cat. Cat. Uh, good good morning to you. Come on in, Kat. Relax a while while you maybe you're getting coffee, maybe you're sat at your desk creating. Oh, so nice to see you. So nice to see you. And there's our wonderful Janet USA. Good morning to you. And Janet, dear, I do hope you're migraine is better you had a struggling week with the change of temperatures haven't you janet our lovely janet usa and there's aunt bex oh aunt bex did i say sometimes the names come and they come in my head and then i'm talking to someone else mrs Gigi. Before I move on, lovely Mrs. Gigi, I've been watching your videos this morning. I've been watching you work in your big 2022. Very relaxing. Mm. Oh, Barbara Riceroni, that 
is, I, I, I've never heard of this Viceroni and so many of you people from America and Canada had heard of Riceroni. I told the boys and they thought, hmm, interesting, Rice. I'm going to try it though, because our lovely Barbara sent us the recipe. And I'm going to say, carry on saying good morning to Aunt Bex, but I'll come back to Aunt Bex in a minute because I've started my crochet, Aunt Bex. Oh, yeah, you're getting coffee. Wait till you get coffee and then you come back. Now you'll notice here in chat, this isn't a new person, Magical Touch Studios. This is our very own Carol, Whispering Cauldron. But Carol is had a little relaunch and you've streamed twice this weekend, haven't you? And I've watched part of your yesterday's one. You just started painting and I watched you are doing your slow stitching, aren't you? Oh, so, so lovely to see your, you do your slow stitching and a lot of people will be working along with you on this year's slow stitch scroll. Mm. There's Jilly. Good morning, Jilly. Nice to see you. Come on in. You saved. We've got plenty of seats here. There's a, a, a seat over there with a lovely tartan rug from my parents' house. So come on in and make yourself cosy. And there's Brenda. Oh, so nice to see you. Now, if you came in and said hello to me and I've completely ignored you, can you tap in again and say hi? Because I, I, I literally don't want to miss anyone out. Your Aunt Bex is thrilled that so many people are jumping in on your crochet project as well as Carol's scroll. I know it's lovely to have new projects. Well, I finished the poncho, so I thought I'm going to work along with Bex. Oh, you're gonna have a little, yeah, scooch up, Freddie. Jill is going to come and sit with you. That, that's quite a wide chair. He's very heavy though, Jilly. He really is. <laughs> Scooch up. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Janet USA, dear. So, yes, all instructions on Aunt Beck's channel. I'll leave the links below for Carol and Aunt Beck's challenge to us. And I'm starting off with, I think it was linen stitch. And then the next stitch Aunt Bex has given us, was that last week's stitch, was Elizabeth stitch. So that's a really nice one. I know that's, that's my middle name. So <laughs> I like that one. Oh, thank you as well, Barbara, dear. <laughs> Angie. Mm, come on in, Angie. Come and have a rest. Come and rest with us. Um, or maybe get yourself some coffee or come and have a little relax with us. So nice to see you, Angie, dear. Oh, I, I knocked, sorry, I knocked Flo's hat off then. Goodness me. I'm sorry, Flo. I apologise. <laughs> oh, have I missed anybody? And there'll be people gently listening in the background. And you'd write to me um, as well, don't you? It, it's lovely. You, I, you, you either talk to me in chats and say that you come in into the stream in gently listening in the background. Mm, I totally get that. Totally get it. Mm. Oh, mm. you must have needed the sleep. It's still quite early for you. You must have needed the sleep. Well, it's probably been quite hectic in the house over Christmas and. And the new year or the holidays or whatever we like to call it. I'm going to attempt to thread the needle. Of course, yes, it's come undone. But I will do that and chat because you know I don't like to miss any chat. <laughs> I'm dead nosy all the time. Oh dear. And I would like to send love. I've got a few people to send love to. Here, uh, I'm still thinking. You're still on my heart, Dar. You really are. 
still on my heart because things don't go. Yeah, that, that's it. Multi Janet's multitasking here. <laughs> things don't magically get better, do they? Just because it's a new year. Sometimes, yeah, we're just with you. Know that know that you're in our hearts, darling. We really are. Right, let's let's shut that down. This is great because if anybody is new to sewing and using their sewing machine, let me just tell you that um, it's great. Just practice, practice. <laughs> like anything, like anything. Oh, you haven't got yarn in the house. No, and it's not easy to get out to the thrift shops at the moment. You'll have to, you can make a little note and make a note in your journal and do it when you can. Dixie, <laughs> I am your fairy godmother. <laughs> and of course, we have a real fairy here, Flo, as well. And we might have Flo's, Flo's creator in the, I can't see anything without these glasses. Don't be proud, Janet. Um, we might have Flo's creator in the background. Julia, welcome to Julia. Maybe quietly listening in the background or on replay. You haven't been well, and you've been in my heart too. Here we are. I'm just um, pulling up the pulling up the thread from the bob end. Mm. <laughs> I know. Oh. Thank you. See, that's why. See, your grandmother taught you that. Always pull that. I'm going to see that out because um, there you go. I've got the thread. Your grandmother taught you that. When you're self-taught, Aunt Beck says always turn the wheel towards you. Otherwise, it messes up the tension. Thank you, Aunt Bex. And Dixie says, thank you. Good to know. And Barbara didn't know that. You want to play along with the fabric prompts? I know, Kimberly. I'm going to, well, Ruth did it last week. Sue's, lovely Sue's, challenged me or suggested it. And I'm going to use the normal prompts and adapt them to fabric. <laughs> yes, let's play along, you little froggy there. <laughs> oh, dear. Talking about frogs, talking about frogs, there's hop. Let me show you what I'm doing to start with. I am making a fabric teacup. You might have seen this one on one of my videos. Mm. Oh, you're stuck under the cat at the moment. Just relax. <laughs> oh, and Carol's going to have a little go as well. There's Gail. Oh, Gail, Gail T, come on in, come on in. Sorry you're late. Had the furnace repairman here, no heat since 11 last night and went down to eight degrees. Ooh, the furnace is 22 years old, so you need a new one. That's a new, ex uh, that's an expense to deal with, isn't it, gal? Have you got that sorted now? Because you must be really cold. Mm. Raise your hand if you have to wear glasses to see clearly so Janet doesn't feel alone in wearing them. I know, I'm showing my age, cat. It's just pride. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, I'm keeping it real, real cat. <laughs> oh, thanks, Janet. Yes, thank you. You're listening while grabbing West West free time. Oh, wow. Um, West has his own video channel. So I've just drawn round in my fabric pen. And then I'm going round with the sewing machine. Oh, he's starting the replacement tomorrow. Oh, Gail. So you, you, you've got upheaval and dirt in the house and, oh, gosh. Sending love to our Gail, too. 
Thank you, Colin. Colin's not telling the right time, but Colin, Colin's showing his age a bit as well, aren't you, Colin? It's a long time since he came over from the Black Forest. <laughs> Glasses here, Becky, Becky W. Good morning, dear. So nice to see you. And there's lovely Nettie. Good morning, Nettie. Oh, so nice to see you. Thanks, Dixie. <laughs> and who have we got just come into my chat just to say she's quietly listening in the background. It's wonderful, wonderful Nashua. We never forgot you, Nashua, dear. Ah, oh, sending so much love. I'm wondering whether any of that happy mail ever got through to you, dear. We've always found it hard to send correspondence from London to Egypt, haven't we? But you were right there, Nashua, dear. And Nashua works on fabrics when she's feeling well enough. Sending you a lot of love, Nashua, dear. You gently listen in the background. Hmm. And I've done it like that. So, so you've got lovely things to look at as well, and Freddie, and let's just relax together. I'd like to try that free form sewing. I think you can get special needles, but I'm going to try it without the special needle. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm um. I'm doing everything tea related today because our lovely Beth has got a swap going on in her in her group. So and I'm my swap partner is is Melissa. So I'm going, I'm making some tea related things for Melissa. <laughs> Good morning, Angela dear. So nice to see you. Come on in, come on in. Um, grab a coffee or a tea. Type a knees. Oh, don't you worry about that, Cheryl. You type a knees away, as our lovely Beth would say. Mm. Yes, West has West is a dog and lives in Scotland. That's in the north of the British Isles. And You've got a dog-free day. He's He likes to have your attention. So Dawn is his mummy. And Dawn can't craft as much as she would like to. <laughs> oh. So that's wonderful. I'm not sure whether you're just relaxing or whether you've um, got... You're going to be able to do some crafting. We've got some challenges going west here. If we can put some links in, maybe we've got the challenge of different crochet stitch blanket or scarf, if you don't want to do too much, up uh, from Aunt Bex. And Carol in the chat here has got a, a slow stitch scroll challenge going on. Or you might. Just want to relax and glue and don't think or sew and don't think. I'm naming this year my little phrase, my little phrase. I gathered all lots of your favorite phrases, but my phrase for the year is be kind to yourself. I grabbed some of yours. I'm channeling my inner Melissa. Um, no, Alicia Mott. I'm challenging, channeling her. I'm writing in big pens on a lovely paper. Positive words. <laughs> oh, and talking about positive words. Ah, here comes our wonderful Laura. Ah, oh, Laura. Mm. What can I say? I'm. I'm not putting myself down here. I, I, I'm not. I'm more a visual person than a writing person. And I want to write in Laura's comment 
box. I just can't eloquently write it, what I want to say, Laura. I'm just enjoying so much you being back online. Um, no pressure, no pressure to ever do videos or lives. Uh, and I, I'm listening to your lives and I'm thinking, oh, I like what Laura says there. Oh gosh, that's so positive. Ooh, that's so positive. And then I get to the end of Laura's stream and I think, oh, because I've been on replays. And I'm thinking, oh, I can't remember what she's said. And then and I think, oh, okay, just go with it. Because, uh, you know, I'm a note taker, but I, don't, I haven't been taking notes. So, yeah, thank you. I'm just letting... Those, your words, your positive words and phrases, just because you're reading, you're going through your old journals, and I'm just letting them wash over me, the words wash over me and into me, and I'm finding it very positive. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> oh, and here's Julia. Oh, Julia's making toast and marmalade. Oh, do you know, Julia, I love to have toast and marmalade most days. It's a great way to start the day, isn't it? Oh, it really is. <laughs> oh, dear. I've got my phone here and I've got it on silent and I can see an organising sort of um, adult -y phone call coming through. I'm going to just ignore that. It's so nice to be able to spend time with you here today. Mm. Heather dear, Heather dear, have I said good morning to you? Hmm. I'm not sure. There's a little teacup and I just did the, the purple is a line and that will fade because it's a special pen and I've just done the outsides there. So I'll cut that, put my fabric scissors here and I might, look, I'm in good company, I'm in good company. I will, I will put my glasses on because seriously I need to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Heather, ab absolutely loved your cactus that you did oh goodness head on over to um heather's channel seriously if you if you buy stickers well head on and you like using stickers head on over to heather's channel because Heather's, that, it's like you're making your own journaling stickers. You were using um, crayons, weren't you? Well, I'm trying to think of the words. The words aren't coming. Watercolour pencils and then black pen. Absolutely loved it. They were so professional. I didn't want to put pressure on you. Again, the written word can be such a... In comments, but I, I'm thinking they're saleable. What, what you created, it's just people would want to buy those. <laughs> they really would. They really would. You created your own set of stickers. <laughs> Be proud. Oh, we don't always want to sell things. We don't want the pressure, do we? But yeah, thanks, Mrs. Gigi. And there's links to our lovely. Sylvia and Mrs. Gigi, who were using, Mrs. Gigi was using watercolour and then you put salt on it for a reaction. Really interesting. Very interesting. Going to try that, Mrs. Gigi. And lovely Sylvia from France was being lovely Sylvia and very mm, flowy. Love her work. Mm. Make your own stickers, Laura. Laura loves stickers. And um, Heather was saying, oh, I don't draw. I don't draw. And I'm thinking, well, actually, Heather, <laughs> it's just amazing. They're lovely. <laughs> Julie says, gotcha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Old shell, you are a card. And then a, a little teacup there. Absolutely love that. Fabric from my Auntie Jennifer. And I've got the back of a chamomile tea box. Oh, and if you're watching Laura's um, replays, Laura gets a tea box, unfolds it. Can you see how impatient I was at unfolding this one? I just ripped it apart earlier. And Laura makes like a little mini journal by just folding out the tea box. Absolutely love that upcycling idea there, Laura. Mm. Angie's got a label maker. Is that for words, um, Angie? How nice. Oh, thank you, Bob. <laughs> so, yeah, I just that's a tea box and that's a tea bag and the little tab at the top. So it's just a little tag and I'll be sending that to I'll pop that on there and I've got some these are just tea ideas for you I know yes you did the drawings but you can easily we could you can call them stickers by just adding a bit of glue yes yes a sticker sheet you can mm. no oh Oh, play on words, Barbara dear. It's not Knights, Knightsbridge, as in this. This is Little's own make. Not Knightsbridge, as in Harrods, Barbara. Well spotted, though, Barbara dear. <laughs> Laura, I know. Yes. It, yeah, even I brought the children up on chamomile tea. Oh, I don't know whether you should, but and I did. Um, and even now, Ben will have a chamomile tea to help him relax or if he doesn't feel well. I know. Mm. Oh, good. Yes. Make a little note because head over to Laura's for a nice relax. Mrs. Gigi's Big 22 was very relaxing as well this morning. Mm. Mrs. Gigi is actually having Harrods tea. How wonderful. <laughs> oh, I have to talk to my lovely neighbour, Sandra. She did bring me donuts in. I say, did you, um, anybody brought you any tea that, um, this, this Christmas that you'd like to share? <laughs> Because sometimes if they bring fruit teas, the sun was not keen on them. Oh, let me just show you. So this was an old bed sheet and I, it was all very ripped and unrepairable. So I, I ripped it into to bits and then I, and I wound it round like made a ball. Twinings. Yes, I have twinings. That's that's just Liddell's own make, my one. But I have twinings too. Mm. Oh, yes, Carol. It keeps you busy all week, doesn't it? Thinking about people and prepping for streams. I love it. Mm. Honey and lavender. Mm. That sounds delicious. Anything lavender is relaxing, Laura. You reminded me. Thank you. Yes, so I just dumped that in tea. So I so I've just got tea stained cottony fray ribbon to use. Mm. Oh, can you mod to put in the link for West's channel? Thank you, Heather. Let me just do that. Add as moder moderator. You know I I, yeah, I hope that's worked. <laughs> Don't like to mess around with that. Oh, lovely. Oh, yes, West is absolutely adorable. Mm. Yes. Oh, grey. <laughs> what, what is the early grey having? Play on words. Oh, Becky's having Bigelow's ginger snack tea ginger snappish tea think of those ginger snappish tea Ooh, i love a ginger tea ginger and lemon mm, let's talk teas mm, lovely 
for all you coffee drinkers, because this is the time to drink it early in the morning, yes. And you can see where the bed sheet turned round as well and met a corner and I just went with it and just kept ripping away. Uh, to start with, this ball was very big, but I've used some of it. <laughs> and then I'm all I'm going to do is sew on my cup here. And then we'll probably have to move on to other things because <laughs> there's not enough time to show you all the things I want to show you. It's amazing. I keep the glasses on, Janet. Don't take them off. Hmm. I can hear you saying it to me. <gasps> Thanks, Janice. Oh, that's really good. And Cheryl's putting in links too. Thank you. It's great to have links because then we can find one another. Hmm. It, oh, I know, particular favourite of my cat. I find, I call that like my streaming tea because I quite often have that, but I've run out of that at the moment. I think I'm on ginger and nuka honey at the moment. So I'll just do this by way of a demonstration. Here. Oh, put the foot down. Yes, it'll be scraggly at the back. There we are. And then I'll, isn't it wonderful? The machine, oh no, always pull it towards you. I love that when wise people tell you things because it goes in your head. And you, I'm loving that. You need some green tea with honey. That's ever so good for you. Mmm. Oh, when you get your hair done, a self-treat day, go and have your hair done and treat yourself to a box of green tea. I'm glad to, to hear that you um, are self practicing self-care, Angie, dear. Mm, I'm all for that. This year is the year of being kind to yourself, definitely. Bengal tea, that sounds splendid. Slice of lemon for you. Ooh, you put ginger juice in your coffee too. Ginger juice. Is that a cordial? Ginger juice. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Cat, you're getting all the ideas here. I think Cat is a coffee person. Because you did a you did a coffee journal, didn't you? I remember. I'm just going round the cup again because it's like crazy stitching. My dad told me something as well. Aunt Bex has told me that and that's gone in my head now. And he said to me, don't go on the motorway, that's the freeway, unless you've got with under half a tank of petrol. And now I always do that because it's very wise because you never know when you're going to get stuck mm, towards you. Like that, Aunt Bex, towards me. Thank you, Aunt Bex, dear. Hmm. Did I say it wrong? It's delicious. Let me write that down, um, Kat. Ginger juice in coffee. Hmm. In, we like anything ginger here. Ginger biscuits, ginger cake, uh, ginger non-alcoholic ginger beer. Although you can get the alcoholic as well. It's just that Sam loves ginger. Stem ginger with dark chocolate. Of course, we're talking about food again. When we get together. I love it. We just get together, don't we? We just get together and we want to talk about our craft and share positive thoughts and encourage one another and talk about food. Ooh. I love how craft, oh, always towards you. I'll get it up there, always towards me. Oh, of course, this has got tangled up again. Maybe that's because I haven't. There, oh, there we are. And I've made like a little pocket. I wasn't going to do that. I've sewn it on again. Let me put that right close so you can see all the jaggedy stitches. Maybe you don't. Oh, I put that one on and I didn't put the one I made on today. Well, there you go. There, that's the one I made today. So I'm going to put the 
it, the tea bag that I'm sending to Melissa in here. <laughs> oh. Oh, Janet just wants to know if it's got booze in it. <laughs> I know. It could, it could have a little tot of something, but probably not this early. Gilligan's Island, I've heard of that on um, the YouTube channel Curiosity Inc. Gilligan's Island. Mm. You get ginger juice online at Amazon. It's made by the ginger people. Wow. Mm. You need it with that cold weather, Barbara and Carol, don't you? Thanks, Angela, dear. <laughs> it's a tag. It's a, I didn't know what I was making today. I'll put the tea in there. It needs a positive word for Melissa in there, on there. And I've made, I dyed some, tea dyed some paper. I've been having fun, having fun. A wee dram. Says um, says uh, says West. Um, says Dawn, and, and to translate that Scottish phrase, a wee dram, it's a little nip of whiskey. You need it up in Scotland too. It gets so cold. Scots know their whiskey, says Janet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so um. Now, did Carol, what, what did I miss? What did I miss? Julie says, you're sorry to hear that. Um, oh, yuck. <laughs> yuck, Laura. <laughs> so I'll pop that in the pocket and I will do more of that later. And let's, let's move on. Let's just gently move on. And see what else we've got today. <laughs> oh, I missed out, Carol, what you were saying, dear. The other person I know to have, oh, I just bend your knees, bend your knees. The other person, if you're gently listening or on the replay, Rene, dear, keeping you in my heart, keeping you in my heart, Rene, dear. Mm. Oh, Angela, dear. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, yes. That was blame that Barbara sending you the freezy cold weather. So, yeah, I just stick my tea bags onto music paper. Let me show you what have I been up to. We love this getting ready, don't we, um, Carol? And lovely pet crinkly tea papers. Just ordinary, nothing special about this paper. It was Ben bought it me. That makes it special. Let me show you this pad. A pound in Smith's. And it's just lovely, lovely lined, thin paper. And it's perfect, perfect for making tea dye paper from so let me let me put all this together tea dyed fabric too just in case I needed that I might need that fabric later oh and decorating the little envelopes as well mm. oh vitamin c keeps the colds away mm. he's a floater <laughs> Laura's got a floater <laughs> Up in north, in the north, anything above zero is a heat wave. You were saying you've got it quite hot though at the moment, where you um, are bets, or did I get did I get that wrong? Sometimes I misunderstand things, <laughs> but I do all right. I do all right. Now we were thinking, oh look, and I love these little tabby things as well. So that's all my tea stuff. Loving that. The other thing I did. Is I made my own washi <laughs> just with just like Heather. I'm going to say I'm not a drawer, you're not, are we, Heather? But just simple little 
teacups. I tried to draw a teapot, but that wasn't happening. Let me show you. Let me keep it real. It's, and I know it's just practice. If I practiced, I drew some teapots, but I thought, hmm, they're really tricky. So I thought, oh, just keep it simple, Jenna. Draw some teacups. So let's put a little, I put it onto double sided tape. Mm. Is that Vanessa there? Did I miss you? Vanessa dear, good morning. So nice to see you. Come on in. How are you? I know that you've been struggling with your health, aren't you? Haven't you? you yes. Come on in and I do, and you, you have to lie down and yeah. Come on in and have a little rest with us, Angie. So nice to see you dear. So yeah, so it's just, Double-sided tape, so I'm just going to peel that off like that. And I think I need something else behind here. Oh, I know what I need. I need, oh, I need, I've got a little tub of hearts. Of course I've got a tub of hearts. <laughs> so you just stick your washi on like that. Homemade washi, just like um, Kat was doing on her videos and Sylvia doing, and, and Gail, it was Gail T, wasn't it? You were making homemade washi. And look, of course, I'm doing this and you can't even see. Uh, where, where do I go where you can see on the desk? Oh, there. <laughs> Amateur hour here. And let's just... Find some glue. Let's find a glue that's got some in it. Mm. Oh, Janice. Take care. Off to work goes Janice. Oh, God bless you, Janice. You take care. And let's put some glue on the back. There we are. I'll leave that there. And wow. There's some homemade washi on a little heart. <laughs> oh, see you soon, Janice. Let me just, it's quite light saturated. So let me just, hold on a minute, Freddie. Freddie thinks, oh, is it snack time? Oh, no, not quite yet, Freddie. Let's turn that off. Does that help if I turn that light off? Or does that make it too dark? It might help. It's hard for me to tell. So, there we are. Have that. So yes, what I did, all you do is to make a strip of washi, I just put some watercolour. Very simple. Making painty paper is lovely with watercolour. And some sometimes I think I might I could just do that with you. Gently do some watercolour painty paper wouldn't that be lovely I had some ready here and then yeah like that you put the double-sided tape I just get this from Poundland Dollar Tree for some of you mm -hmm. oh thank you thank you Ronnie Blue good morning Ronnie nice to see you Oh, welcome, welcome. Now, I'm going to say welcome to this channel. I know. Have I seen you somewhere when it was New Year's Eve or the New Year's stream along? Or are you going to say, Janet, I've been in your stream? <laughs> oh. And then, yes, just draw these simple little teacups. Oh, the great thing about teacups is anything goes. And a little bit of steam and the tea bag thing hanging out. And there you have the beginnings of some teacup washi tape. <laughs> There's Rebecca. Good morning, Rebecca. Rise and shine. <laughs> 
Oh, it's time to shine. I loved cats. I loved your word. Thank you, Colin. I wrong time, but thank you. <laughs> Sparkle. I loved your word. I've added it to here. I've added that one. I love that. So I'm going to be adding that to some of my hearts. The hearts are great. They just go out into happy mail. Oh, Ronnie, tell me where I met you. Welcome, welcome. Everybody, welcome. Your lovely, warm welcome to Ronnie. So nice to see you. Mm. And hello, Melissa. So nice to see you. What's my favourite tea? Do you know, I like all sorts of different teas, Melissa, dear. Mm, all, lots of different teas. <laughs> Most teas. I don't think there's any that I don't like, to be honest, Melissa, dear. I'm British. We all love a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, oh, Dawn, yes. Well, sometimes... Designing your own things comes from necessity. When you want to make something related to something like a tea, making a tea journal, or you're making a, a tea happy mat. And no pressure, Melissa. I know you're my swap partner, but sending to Britain, sending to England and sending abroad is, is not easy, is it? Getting the stamps and things. So um oh we're just going yes oh rebecca's here the, oh you've just come out of the shower oh you're all cozy now mm. yeah make it yeah it's great you, so yeah just keep it as long as oh i learned this from laura when i think when we had to do um one of aunt beck's prompts was gnome and then Laura was trying to do that and she tapped into Google, draw simple gnome. See, we learn so much from one another. I thought so, Ronnie. We met on the New Year's Eve stream. Oh, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. I'm so glad you travelled over to see us this morning. It's so nice to see you. Oh, and there's Margaret. Hi, Margaret, dear. So nice to see you. Oh, thank you, Ronnie, dear. I find lots of the videos and streams really soothing, Ronnie. And I, yes, I, I listen to some of the streams for my well-being and relaxation. Mm. Oh, you haven't had your shower yet. We'll be joining. We'll be joining. We'll be um, off to the bathroom with Rebecca as she gets ready in a minute. <laughs> We're not proud. Did I finish saying hello to lovely Julia? You'll be listening along there, Julia. Julia created lovely Flo. Flo, have you been busy this week? Oh, do show us. I'm going to put this down there. Do show us what you've been making, Flo. Gosh, she's been so busy. Oh, hold on, Flo. Do you know, I've worked out why the desk gets so messy. It's because the minute I turn my back, Flo gets, Flo gets, Flo gets working in here. Mm. Oh, happy Ray. Hello, happy Ray. Oh, happy Ray of sunshine. Happy, it's an early birthday to you. Oh, happy early birthday to you, happy Ray. Oh, when is your actual birthday? So nice to see you, happy Ray. Oh, I love your name. Mm. <laughs> oh, she's been making a journal now kimberly dear i know you're busy getting hubby's lunch etc etc <laughs> i know angela that it, it just dawned on me why this mess this desk is always so messy look at this kimberly do you recognize this mm. 
and it's Ronnie's birthday. Is it Ronnie? Is it your birthday today? Talk to me. Hi, Janet. Thursday the 13th. Be your big one. Thursday the 13th. The happy ray is on the 13th. That's this week. Oh, and and Ronnie. Um Ronnie, when is your birthday? Oh, how lovely. Oh, Becky. <laughs> Nobody wants to get involved in international posts, um, Becky, dear. <laughs> you can blow me a kiss. <laughs> Ronnie, it's on the 10th. Oh, that's today. Right, we're stopping everything. I could, oh, I'll just get the snack. It's not, don't worry, it's not snack time quite yet. I'm going to... Got a candle in the cheese scone. There we are. For, for Ronnie. Oh, happy birthday, Ronnie, dear. So lovely. Oh, there's Sylvia. Just in time, Sylvia. We're going to sing happy birthday. You've got your singing voice on. I've been singing your praises, Sylvia. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Lots of birthday wishes. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Ronnie, and happy Ray for later on in the week. Happy birthday to you both. Oh, and many more. <laughs> You're a spring chicken at 51. Look at all those birthday wishes. Cupcake from Kimberly. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, I'm so glad you mentioned that, Ronnie. And happy Ray. I put those over there because it's not quite snack time yet. Kimberly, while you're here, do you recognize this piece of cardboard? I had some socks given to me and I saved the top. I thought, oh, that will make a nice journal tab. Turned my back. And lovely flow. She's always sitting so nicely and calmly, isn't she? When when our backs are turned, she's fluttering around the desk. She's made herself a little journal. She's feeling positive and wanted to send you, you a message. It says this charm, never, never give up. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Never never give up and you haven't oh you 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 you're collecting the bits to stick in it oh okay well we'll look at it mm. Cheryl lost the cake emojis and we should don't lose the cake Cheryl that's the main thing there's lovely Dorinda good morning Dorinda so so nice to see you oh how wonderful to see you. Come on in. Have you got time to spend with us for a little while? Oh, how lovely. Oh, so nice to see you. We were just singing happy birthday to Happy Ray. Isn't that lovely? And, and um, Ronnie, oh, never, never, ever give up. I know. Isn't that a wonderful positive thing. I think I'm going to write that down straight away because I hadn't seen what charm was on there. What am I doing? Let me get my journal out. Let me stop what I'm doing and I've got my, my nice pens here so I can channel my inner Felicia Mott here and do some lovely writing with a shiny pen. Good morning, Lizzie. Oh, beautiful Lizzie with your lovely hair. Oh, we, oh, something lovely and positive here on Flo's journal, Lizzie. Never, never, never give up. Isn't that wonderful? That's that's the message that Flo wanted us to have today, and I thank you for that. Never, never, 
I've got this from Alicia. She writes in big writing. Never, never give. Oh, I'm loving that. What's the date today? 10 the, the 1st, 22. You've got to write this right year, haven't you? We write our dates the different way round. Have you noticed that? So I've just written that in my journal. Never, never give up. I love that. I love Alicia's handwriting. It does, it does. And I've started to do the same, Laura. But yes, yes. We all need to... Oh, we learn so much from one another, don't we? If anybody else in the chat wants to throw in any any other say i'm just going off piece here this isn't what i had in to do but i just if anybody else has any words or phrases that they want to share especially for happy ray and ronnie on their birthdays but for all of us any phrases and i can write them on my journal page for today i don't do a a daily journal this is just anything goes anything goes this is my paint girly journal here mm. so if i miss what you're saying come on in oh mm. there we are i uh, i did don't let me miss anything mm. So we've been doing making the painty papers on recycled envelopes. We've been doing this for four weeks now, haven't we? Because we scraped paint, we we scraped paint and we stenciled and we stamped. And to this week I have been doodling doodling on them there's kathy oh kathy did i say good morning to you already how, if i didn't i apologize kathy dear good morning how are you getting on with your 200 challenge no pressure though because i know you're busy with the grandchildren mm. And then I've the joy of sitting in bed. Can you see there was a stamp left on that envelope? So I've done some red doodles as well on it. Oh, Cordula, Cordula, happy Monday to you. And oh, I am beyond honoured, um, Cordula, to have you in the stream. I see you on lovely Lizzie, Lizzie's channel. You make some wonderful things with fabric, Cordula. You really do. <laughs> come on in. Come on in. I love the way you're visiting me today. <laughs> oh, mm. You're 10 days into the month, so you think you might just make it with no pressure this year. Yes, it's just whatever works for us, isn't it, Kathy? Yeah. You see some hearts in here as well. Yes, some hearts. And I put some shiny on. It's that lovely wink of Stella that Laurie gave me. Yes. So that one I'm actually going to use as an envelope. And this, so yes, they're all ready now because I've, We've done the stenciling. They're all ready just to rip up or do some more doodling. It's the sort of thing you can open. And these ones, ready for doodling. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, Cardula. <laughs> so nice to have you and everybody here. And everybody that's gently listening in the background as well. Everybody's so welcome here. And all the lovely replayers. I love her. Mm. Sylvia's frozen. Give yourself a nice hot drink um, and snuggle up with us. So, yeah, just ready for doodling. This one, 
because I've made them for painty papers. This one, if you don't mind, Mo, Mo's going to, we're going to use this one as an envelope. Mo, Mo is in charge of Happy Mail envelopes. So we just put that one there. This one is a bit more random because, of course, it's only painty paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I've doodled on this one. I've just been doing the stripes and mark making. I'm going to tear this one up because, after all, I have just made this for painty paper. I'm going to tear the stamped back off and I'm going to put this, oh, lovely, in this journal. There we are. Isn't that lovely? There we are. So even our, we can even use our, our envelopes when they come through. And then we've got, I've got a little, that, that happened one stream because I, I temporarily lost my painty paper flow journal, didn't I? So we just made another one. And next week, I'm going to start a different sort of painty paper with you. So let's just pop that on there. Gosh, it's very satisfying doing the gluing like this. It really is. Oh, happy Ray. Back to lurking and working. Oh, I do hope that you managed to get some treats and cake when it's your birthday. And there we are. Just gradually slowly and gently put things in my the journal that Kat made me. Just a little bit of painty paper. That, that's just going to build and evolve. There we are. Is it sticky? Can I close it? Yes, I can. Mm. Oh, yes, you're just going to go and make your oatmeal. Yes, Aunt Bex. And we're just about to have a snack time here as well. <laughs> Oh, mm. oh, Rebecca's off for her shower. Yeah, don't, don't worry, we're going, she won't miss out on anything because we're just going to go right on in there with, with her. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you what I do with the painted papers as well. What I, just before we have our snack, hold on, Kimberly, can you wait a little minute? before snack time I know but you know it's it is snack time Freddie will be telling me in a minute so what I do with my painty papers is I cut them out and put a nice positive word on that one's sparkling I've got that idea from Kat and this one thanks Ronnie thank you dear I tend to make things just out of What's at hand? Upcycled bits and bobs. That one says, discovering, discovering. These are my painted paper hearts. That was one of our words last week. Oh, that was our lovely Cheryl who gave us that word, discovering. That was so lovely, so lovely and so positive. And these little hearts just go on envelopes or postcards or in Happy Mail inspiration and this one hopes and dreams thanks Sylvia dear and that's some washi that I got in happy mail I think that was on the envelope that Laura sent me and it says love see we don't waste anything do we so these hearts go in my little heart tray there you can see it's quite quite empty there it gets used up so I just need to come in here and cut out just before they're wonky hearts so it doesn't matter anything goes that's why a lot of the time that's why I I've forgotten that's why I make the painty paper and my painty paper hearts. 
sometimes you'll know, oh, Janet, you're doing the same thing. I do. I always, I think I started off with doing the, where do I put it so you can see it? I haven't worked this out yet. <laughs> Professional screen. And then I put a nice edge around it. And then a positive word. I sometimes put some white on it and I put some glitter, some stickers. There's candy. Oh, candy, dear. How are you healing? Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, so I think about you often at the moment, particularly at the moment, because I just... Yeah, I just want you to heal and be well. Then I just put some glitter on, like that. That's a wonky heart. The thing that's missing from that wonky heart. Mm. Think inside the box. That's where the heart is. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I think we need a positive word in there. I've got plenty of the positive words from last week, but if you, just before we have snack time, because I know that, I don't want to keep Kimberly waiting. She's got her cookies ready, haven't you? Let's just type out a word to put in that heart and maybe one to put on my lovely Tea swap for lovely Melissa. <laughs> I know, Cheryl, I'm the same. We don't, we definitely don't want to miss out anybody. No, definitely not. Just speak up if we um passed you by. We really don't mean to do that at all. Oh. So, what would you like me to type? A little, a little word. What's our word of the day? Have we got a word of the day? What could our word of the day be? Oh, it'd be wonderful to have a word of the day. I'm going to wait. <laughs> hop, hop, hop. <laughs> our lovely Cheryl. We know that you'd never intentionally leave anyone out. And I think that's where we know fellowship, Kimberly, precisely. The fellowship of one another. I love that. But I'm going to write that in white on my notes. Fellowship. I love that. Oh, and power. And power. There's lovely Teresa. Did I say enough hellos to you? Oh, um, glorious. Oh gosh, don't let me. Glorious. And focus. Oh gosh, yes. Hope. Oh gosh, this is wonderful. Wonderful. Love and kindness. See the old. Oh, we. Oh goodness. We. Oh goodness. These words. Oh these words. Could go on our prompts later. Mm. Fellowship with what of one another. I know, I know. Celebrate life. And that is what you are doing today, Ronnie. Celebrating life. It's your day to remember. Oh, there's lovely, there's lovely Mel Joy. Hi, Mel Joy. Hi from South London. <laughs> is that a good bless thank you you captures um right th thinking of positive words what fantastic words i know i know and these i'm going to be making more lists and putting these in my journals and pictures this week these words will keep us going all week Ah, oh, wonderful. Let me just show you my streaming notes there. <laughs> Writing down who I'm thinking about. <laughs> and I've written your positive words in, in white as well. 
celebrate, yes, celebrate, celebrations, companionship. Thank you, Nashua. And I companion, that's lovely, and companionship. Thank you. Marjorie Nashua's in the chat. Oh, Nashua's, Nashua's here with us. It's so lovely, so lovely. Mm. So let me type a few of these out, but I won't keep you long because I know that when I when you invite people into your house, you make them a cup of tea and offer them a, a little something to eat. So I, I'm very remiss if I don't do that. So I am going to put, I'm going to use them all this week. And I'm going to use for this heart, I'm going to use the word, mm, oh, I'm looking at them all. I love them all, I'm going to use them all. Oh, what was the word that, yeah, fellowship, thank you. Oh, I, the, the capital letter doesn't work. <laughs> I'm just writing a few of them out. Lovely, just enough to stick on to stick on the hearts just now. Lovely coffee, tea dyed paper, just ordinary poundland paper transformed by tea. <laughs> Are we transformed by tea? We will be in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it reminds you of being a secretary mm -hmm. in the 80s. We will spend more time with the typewriter. We've got things, things that I'd like to do with you. Use watercolours, use the typewriter. There we are. <laughs> oh, you can see out into the garden there, can't you? It's a little bit chilly, so let's put that fellowship. So I'll just rip that, keep that one there, over there. Mm. I know, they're very relaxing, aren't they? Look, I don't know how to put it in frame. And then I'll just, there's a little bit of, is it dried? Yes, it has. Let's put a little bit of sticky on here. There we are. And put that on the back. Lovely. There we are. There's a heart in the middle of that one. So, yeah, that's one of our words. So that's a painty paper heart. And it says fellowship. And that's lovely. They're just, just really handy to have a box of hearts. I'll put it that way around so it dries. Because stickles, everyone's a winner, isn't it? Every time you put stickles on you end up having to smoosh some round and start again. I, I like to do a little dot. <laughs> um, let me see who, you're saying good morning to Laurie. Have I missed you, Laurie? Is it Laurie Paint Girly? Um, ooh, shout out if you can. It'd be lovely to see you. So let's get a snack, shall we? I'm surprised. Is Freddie? Is it snack time, Freddie? Is it snack time, darling? <laughs> oh, Nashua, dear. <laughs> so nice to see you. Hmm. Laura's off to take her pup for a walk. <laughs> oh. Yes, stickles make us sparkly. I always have some stickles. I had a bronze one before I had this one, and now I've got the teal one. Just a little bit of sparkle in our life. <laughs> Although, of course, I do have fairy dust that adds a little sparkle in, in, in our lives too. Right, let's get 
for you, young man, a nice snack. <laughs> yes, you have a good day, Laura, dear. It's lovely to take little puppy for a walk. <laughs> take care, Laura, dear. So nice to see you. Oh, that's Colin saying goodbye. There you go. <laughs> okay, dear friend. Mm. He's not getting up for these ones, is he? Just sitting gently in his armchair. We worked out Freddie is five in February. So we worked out that he's 35 in dog years. <laughs> you always need a little bit of fairy dust in your life. Yes, yes, you do. I'm going to put some of this on. There you go. Just a little bit. Well, I noticed that's another thing. I came. Where is it? Yeah, I came back from doing this and into the room and you notice here. Can you see it? There's fairy dust on here. Does it show up on the camera? Yes, you can see there's little pieces of the fairy dust. That that was that was flow adding to our lovely our lovely positive words. So shall I stretch over here? Yes, let me just stretch over here. Save me going all the way round. Right, do get yourself snacks and let's oh it's just lovely just to be together to do some crafting and have a little snack. I have made, let's take Rhonda and Happy Ray's candle out. I've made cheese scones. <laughs> you saw the fairy dust, did you? Yes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. No, he's a little older than me. I'm going to be 21 again. <laughs> so I'm going to pick a really nice cheese scone there. Do you think scones are the same as your you call them biscuits? You cut it in half, so it's not it's a savory scone, just to have a little bit of butter on. Oh, you can't beat a cheese scone. So the recipe is basically butter and flour and milk. So yeah. Just mixed up, very easy. Yumelicious scones, my favourite, a cranberry and orange. Well, Janet, we had some cranberries left over from, I'm gonna have a little taste. We had some cranberries left over from Christmas and Mary on one of her streams said she treated herself to dried cranberries. And I thought, I'm going to use, try and use my oven so I can get it down to, really low temperatures as a dehydrator and so I dried the cranberries but I think I didn't I think I burnt them really. Your biscuits are self-raising flour, crispo which is shortening and milk. I think Aunt Bex that our scones and your biscuits are one and the same thing. So my my dried cranberries are slightly burnt. Let mm. me just taste this. Mm. 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 Very nice. Mm. 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 Really nice. Mm. Mm. Really nice. Oh, here comes Rebecca. Mm back from the shower Rebecca likes dried cranberries in salad how nice mm. <laughs> all this talk of food sorry mm. oh you've got to go outside in the cold with the pups cow okay okay we'll be here mm. he's watching oh you what you've got to remember he's looking out in the garden what you've got to remember is He's been for a massive long walk this morning. We didn't go in the field where it's absolutely um, muddy. 
today. Your biscuits are buttermilk, flour and usually bacon, bacon grease or butter. I think it's one and the same because you can, in England, make scones with buttermilk. Mm. Janet says, stop talking about food. I haven't even had time for breakfast yet. <laughs> Cranberry oatmeal, maybe, Janet. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's Gail A. Oh, Gail. Freddie's just had his treat and I'm eating a scone. Oh, Gail Ann, so nice to see you. Come on, come on in, come on in. So nice to see you. How are your little pups today? And how are you and your husband getting on with um, the, the, um, your physio? Oh, Kitty Jen says now she feels like making biscuits, eggs and bacon later for breakfast. Go for it, Kitty Jen. <laughs> and welcome, welcome to, welcome, come on in, Kitty Jen and Gail. So nice to see you. Ah, oh, cat has oatmeal. I I will be having oatmeal with homemade apple and cinnamon sauce tomorrow. Sounds quite American, doesn't it? Mm. That's a big part of why you're busy. Obi isn't doing well. Oh, oh no. Let me just write OB down. Oh, no. And I put a heart round it. I'm sorry to hear that. I know he goes off and has his medicine. He can't hardly walk on his hind legs then. Oh, bless your little OB. Only he's adorable. You put a picture of him up at Christmas. Hmm. Jen says her mum's friends used to have tea parties. Oh, yes, tea parties with cakes and scones, definitely. Mm. Me too, raisins. I like raisins, Cathy. Mm. I know, Cheryl said you weren't hungry before you came on this stream, but now you are. He's got a vet's appointment on Thursday. Oh, dear. Let me write that down. Sorry. Thursday. Gosh, yes. Mm. Oh, I hope that's okay. That was okay, little fella. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we do, but we like to talk about that sort of thing when we get together, don't we, Cathy? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ah, there we are. Right. Let me show you what came through the post today, this week. Yesterday was it, Aunt Bex? I got my Christmas card from Aunt Bex and look, isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Artwork from Aunt Bex, her own artwork, and then she photocopies it into a card. Isn't that fantastic? Wonderful. One of Aunt Bex gnomes peering through the window. I love it. Mm. Oh, Kathy, and he's having his leg fix. Oh, bless him. Oh, yes, positive vibes for your little little one too. Hmm, so lovely. That's going to go in my Christmas journal. I got it out again. I love that. It went on the shelf, and I've got it out again. How lovely! I'm going to use the envelope and decorate this and it's going to make a gorgeous pocket. Thank you, Aunt Bex. I, it wasn't time to put this book on the shelf. I was liking, I was enjoying handling it too much. Thank you, Aunt Bex. And some wonderful little snippets that maybe we'll be able to use later. Look at the numbers from the side of the fabric. Gorgeous colours. But look, how wonderful is this? How wonderful. This is a piece of fabric from Aunt Beck's dress that she made. I will leave a link below. Can, can you imagine? What I didn't see, I didn't realise there was silver. That's silver. These swirls are silver. Mm. 
Oh, potato soup. Lovely. Is that some lovely with a bit of cheese on top, I would imagine, Angie? Gorgeous. Mm. Pon her Ponsetti address. Isn't that gorgeous? That is going to go on my quilt. The quilt is under there somewhere. And I will be getting round to doing the quilt, maybe this week, actually. And there's another little piece here to make something with. And I don't think Aunt Bex realised when she bought the fabric that it's not only poncettias. I'm going to do, I'm going to use this in slow stitching. It had cardinals. Isn't that gorgeous fabric? Mm, so gorgeous. Is that lovely Beth just coming into the stream? Good morning, Beth, dear. Ah, come on in. Come on in and relax with us. We're just having tea. <laughs> Beth's been enjoying tea, haven't you? you? You've ordered some. You've been enjoying Yorkshire tea, haven't you? Hmm. And then Becky sent me one of the hearts of love hmm. it did it took its time i had a whole another whole pile of posts today i think there's been a lot of sickness and in the post office and they, you know they, they've been very short staffed and i think it's all coming through now there's been a backlog aunt bex has her oatmeal in hand come and relax with us look at this wonderful heart. We saw Aunt Bex making these. It's layered one, two, even stitching, hand stitching, the batting. And the third layer is quilted, quilted bits and pieces. And then a lovely flower. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to say hearts, um, these decorations, they're just not for Christmas. These are for life. They, these are going up all around the house. I've got the one that um, Kimberly gave me on the dining room door. Thank you. And there's some words beautifully, neatly written on the back here. Love never ends. It remains in our heart forever. 2021, Becky McCauley. Thank you, Becky. That's beyond precious. Isn't it pretty, Dixie? Beth, yes, beautiful. Mm. Oh, Gail, take care. Love, love to you and hubby and little Obi. We'll be in touch. Yes, keep in touch, um, Gail and dear. Mm. Take care. Mm. <laughs> so that's so precious. It's just hanging here for the minute, but it'll find its way into the house. <laughs> oh, and I I had this morning mail, I had a but that just means I'm gonna get the Christmas book out next week too. I had some mail from lovely and uh, Alicia Barrett and lovely Sherry Van of uh, a Christmas card. But just at the last minute, I, I misplaced them. They'll be somewhere. They're probably in the kitchen. So I shall be getting that out again next week. Hmm. So, yes, I'm going to pop that in there and I will sort that out later. Ooh, one of these goes on there, that pile. Hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Would you like to see the finished poncho? Mm. Oh, time to exercise, then get ready to go out to your mum's house. Oh, I'm glad you're doing self-care, um, Dorinda. Relaxing with ours and doing the exercises. Yeah, taking time for yourself. It's important, isn't it, Dorinda? Because I know you're really busy, especially with the family. Mm. Oh, wow. Kathy, thank you. Thank you. Kathy's idea. 
gosh, I this stream is rocking. I am running out of space for notes. I'm very visual. So thank you. What a great idea. Um, I've just put it up there. Look, Kathy's idea. Little heart banner for the mantelpiece. What a super idea. So I have been making more. I'm making more and sending more. What have I been up to? There's one going out this week. I've made this one. You saw me cut these out. I've done some slow stitching on them. And I stamped a little butterfly and a three bees on there too. And that one is going out this week. And this one, that's quite sweet. I've got to do some more on this. But do you remember when I did a Lizzie Brewer rough edge and I said I needed to wash it to make the edge all? This is Lizzie Brewer's idea. She does this in quilting. So that's a work in progress. Oh, Flo's holding those for me. Maybe you could finish them for me, Flo. Or probably Flo's got our own agenda. Mm. A memory banner. Fantastic idea. As a girl at work used to say, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Great idea. Ah. Mm. Oh. That would be a wonderful word to have on those hearts, wouldn't it, Cardula? Peace. Put peace on the hearts, yes. Peace on the hearts, yes. I've written that down. And then I go over that. Oh, there's Alison. Day to you, Alison. Alison, I've got lots of your lovely videos to catch up on, see what you've been doing and how your journal, your January journal's coming on. Happy Monday, because you were having snow days. I take it everybody's back at work now in school. Hmm. So, yes, we will be having a prompt game. I will be. Goodness, it's 3.30. Yes, let's start our prompt game. I've been chatting. We've been, we've been relaxed and chatty, haven't we? So let's get the prompts out. There's Alison saying, come on, Janet, let's do the prompts. Yes, you are right, Alison, dear. Let's get some prompts out today. <laughs> Time for you to go. Got to got to get busy working. Angie, take care, take care. See you in the chat, see you in the other people's chats as well. Yes. Right, I'm going to not look, we've got lots of prompts here. Let's, some of them have gone in this week, so I'm just shuffling them up. Got a basket full of prompts, a lot of them new. Do you think we'll pull out an animal this week, Alison? <laughs> no, no, you didn't. We've just been, I don't know, Alison, we've just been shattering away here. <laughs> mm. There we are. If I'm missing what you're saying, I do apologise. And I'm glad that you're telling me important things, writing capitals or, or say, did you just see what Cathy said? <laughs> I'm loving that. Take care, Angie, dear. And I'm not, so I'm not looking. I'm going to pull out six. The reason Aunt Beck said to add a hanger was so it could be strung on a line to create a banner. And I probably missed that, Aunt Bex. Aunt Bex and Kathy, great minds think alike. Fantastic. Oh, well done. Hmm. Hope you get that potato soup today, Angie, dear. Hmm. Cardula, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. It's been so nice to see you. So nice to see you. You take good care. Take good care of yourself. And don't forget, 2022 is the year to be kind to yourself. 
Right, what am I up to? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, lovely. Right, you would not believe what has just come up. You would not believe what I picked. I just can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> so you can do yours on paper, like I did last week, or you can do yours in your journal. Anyway, some of us today, like Ruth did last week, and this was Sue's challenge, I'm going to do mine prompts this week on fabric with fabric and on fabric a little challenge so where's my needles probably need this mm. right carol said she might um oh no carol was on yesterday morning you've got a replay haven't you carol dear for, from saturday and sunday and would you believe that the first prompt, the first prompt here is teacup or a coffee cup. I cannot believe that. Seriously, I did not fix that. <laughs> That's what we've been making this morning. And I think I put prompt in because when we were making prompts and having prompt suggestions, I think it was Kat who said, There we are. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And let me see if I can find one of those teacups that I made this morning. I can't believe I made a fabric teacup. Where, but where did I put it? And then that's the thing. There's teacup. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, here it is. Can you believe this morning I made a fabric teacup? Teacup or coffee cup? <laughs> That's incredible. We could pin things to our fabric and slow stitch them on later. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling that this, as a lot of my other things that I do, we can, I, you can work on them and love on them all week, can't you? Yes, good idea. No pressure to do do them at all. Um, just do what you want to do, definitely. And I think it would be, I thought it would be nice to have a coffee ring or a tea ring. So let me just readjust myself here. Oh, yeah, pins. I'm going to put my glasses on because I really think that's going to help. Mm. But I can't, then I can't see the chat. You have some embroidered teacups on your on your doily box. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. It was meant to be. It's like that time that, oh, there's tea leaves on here. It's like that time that Meljoy came round to visit and we just had a prompt and the prompt was hedgehog. And she just came round with hedgehog washi. That was amazing. Ooh, I know what else I'm going to do. This is a great chance to do things that you've always wanted to do. But if you're doing this on paper, don't worry. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> don't, oh look, I'm just getting some of the chamomile off here. Do it on paper as well. Use stamps and stickers. You don't have to do it in fabric. It's just that that's what we're doing. I'm thinking it would be a nice idea to use. Oh, how do you, you make journal pages? Well, Beth or I can show you that, um, Melissa. I'll make a little video for you, Melissa, and send that to you. And lovely Beth will too. I'm actually going to put, so I'm, I'm going to maybe mix. I'm going to pin these on. How lovely. Tea bags. 
in a tea bag there, in a round tea bag. I'm making up layers here. And this is just going to be such a joy. I was going to, I was thinking, I was thinking just then that I would stamp images on this tea bag. But I think I'm going to doodle in fabric throughout the week. How lovely. Everything stops for tea. <laughs> oh, Jen's off for coffee, or you might be making yours coffee themed. Mm. <laughs> coffee Angels is, is a good idea. It is a good name. <laughs> we are very crafty. Let's pull another prompt. I absolutely loved that prompt. And I'm going to be working on this for a week. Ooh, this is a new one added for 2020. Oh, and it says lights. Add lights. That's interesting. Add lights. So it could be candles or a picture in a magazine with fairy lights. Of course, Carol, you do. You draw your images and then you with your special pens and then you you stitch on them. Mm. <laughs> Kathy had to go and make oatmeal. She's starving. We made her starving, starving. So add lights. How wonderful. So I'm actually going to get my snippet. This is gorgeous. If you're having a nice cup of tea, what would I would, if I was having a nice cup of tea, want to be sat and I want to be, oh, do you mind if I just, um, oh, look, the flame of a candle. I thought I had some gold in there. And what can my candle be made out of? Oh, here's a lovely piece of fabric. Da, this was from you. Oh, how wonderful. Let's make a lovely candle. So you can have lights in. How wonderful. Ooh, pinking shears. I wonder if they work. I found these in one of the fabric bags. These are ancient. I had these when I was a teenager. Let's see if they work. Mm. Oh, that's true. Beth says, um, how do you make? Yes, I was saying a journal, but of course, Melissa, of course, it can be a notebook. Like I have my notebook here with pages in. And I think sometimes you can get notebooks from the Dollar Tree as well. You use this as a journal as well, definitely. The thing is, as our lovely Beth says, there's no right or wrong. So it took me a week to think, yes, I'm going to do mine in fabric. That, there you go. There you go. So the prompt was lights. The pinking shears do work. I've never used them on paper. Because I think that's what we were told, wasn't it? Don't use them on paper. I'm going to put the candle here and I'll try not to move things that remember though with the prompts the only rule is to have fun if you don't like any of them ask for alternatives or as Laura would say do your own thing chicken wing there's lovely Jude Jude dear you're, you're up at the wrong time. Are you okay? So nice to see you, don't get me wrong. But um, how are you two, dear? So nice to see you. Let's cut out. Oh, I'm just going to cut the flame like that because it's, it's nice and frayed. So nice to see you. Uh, in in live chat so nice to see you 
this could be a birthday candle for Happy Ray and and Ronnie, couldn't it? There we are. There. So I'll pop this in here. So nice to see you, Jude. Um, I'm doing the prompts, and today I'm doing mine in fabric. Some people are doing them in their notebooks or journals. I'm doing mine on with fabric. You can use paper. So, so far, for lights, I've got a candle. Oh, thank you, Colin. And but it says lights, it's a plural, isn't it? So I need more than one light. Have I got more gold? I have. I'm going to do some little candles. This is too much fun. <laughs> it's always fun though. Oh, and I noticed I feel that things come together. Do you think our eyes do something without our minds even knowing? Because look. I've got blue, blue here, and blue on the puck of tea, tea bag. I've got sort of a little blue theme going here. That's crazy. So I'm going to cut some more candles out. It's up, oh, there you go. I'll put that there. This is fun. Yes, pin now. And then gloriously slow stitch. Now slow stitching, if you're just new to it, it's just, if you, if you want to call it embroidery, you can. Or if you're very new to stitching, it can be the biggest, wonkiest stitches. The main thing is just to relax and have fun. It's a very relaxing hobby, slow stitching. It can be made with just the biggest stitches. Oh, this is nice. I'm just gonna put another flame on here. So your lights could be fairy lights. I like fairy lights. You're going to make a fabric ATC. How wonderful. How wonderful. Use the prompts however you want to. Um, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Another little bit of gold there. I see, as Deanie would say, Deanie's probably in the replay, no scraps left behind. That's what we say, isn't it, Deanie? Is there a box of pins somewhere? Or the pin cushion, let's see. In all this mess. So nice to see you, Jude. Beth, the cuckoo clock comes from my parents. It's Colin, Colin the cuckoo. Ticking in the background there. It's what Ben said. Ben used to love the cuckoo when he went to Granny and Grandpa's house, and that's the one thing he said that he'd like. Doesn't quite fit with his decor. So, prompts so far are we're being quite slow, aren't they, dear? Um, teacup or coffee cup and lights. So, for my lights, I've pinned on some candles, put a nice, relaxing cup of tea there. It is my aim to be mixing fabric and paper. That's why I've included the tea bags in there. I've sort of a theme going on. Sort of need a cupcake now, don't we? But let's see. The next prompt is on, look at the lovely cluster there. The next prompt, oh, it's the 2022 one. Oh! This is when I'm going round, I'm doing a Lizzie Brewer, um, using things that I don't use. It says, use your Dymo. That's amazing. Now, if you haven't got a Dymo, use a modern day thing. I, I mean, I've got a, one that Ben left behind here. I've got my old school as well. 
where is the dynamo? Oh, here. So we really are going to have a mix of paper and this is this will be on plastic actually. When you were young, eons ago, the neighbour had a cat clock where the eyes shifted sideways and the tail moved back and forth. It was a scary thing <laughs> when you were a child because the eyes were looking at you. You'd love that, Aunt Bex, wouldn't you? Or if you haven't got a Dymo, double tape. Thank you, Janice at work there, coming in to help us. Thank you. Stick um, some words on from a magazine or some printed out words with double-sided tape or glue. Mm. <laughs> Lizzie says she's loving her reminder prompts. That's not to take away from what you've done, Lizzie. I'll leave a link below. But you know that you inspire me. So I looked around the craft room and thought, what don't I use? Oh, Aunt Bex has a cat clock. But it gets on Scott's nerves. Oh, yes, my mum and dad had quite a few, few clocks. But this one we kept. The other ones have gone to a lovely homes as well. Oh, and let me take some of the words from today. I am going, what are our words that you gave me today? Fellowship, celebrate life, companionship. How lovely, empower, how love, glorious, hope, focus, love and kindness. Celebrate life, how lovely. I'm going to write kindness. Kindness. I've got to find the K. C I N D N E S S. It's just that sometimes we need to be reminded to use what we have, don't we? I know um, you've got like a pretty labely sticker thing haven't you um Aunt Bex, which you probably use quite a lot oh how funny it had oh it already had a word printed on there guess what that was hearts how lovely because i was going to put that on the front of my heart box being the organized person i am kindness there we are, and I'm literally going to put that on. Add a cup of kindness. How wonderful. A little cup of kindness. Oh, wow. And I'm, oh, oh, a cup of kindness. What, what, oh, goodness. And now I'm going to be in my pen writing the words from today. Oh, Aunt Beck said a cup of kindness before I did. It really is great minds think alike. Write down the prompts, child, but no pressure. A teaspoon, like a teaspoon of, of sugar helps the medicine go down. A spoonful of kindness. How lovely. And I'm going to be writing and embroidering all the words from today's stream on on here now that's amazing when i say embroidering yeah but don't do that if if you just want to do big stitches just do big stitches use what you have this was use what ben left behind when he moved out i thought oh lovely i'll have that <laughs> Love, empower, and kindness words for today too. And lovely. I know, Ronnie, those, you're working hard on your birthday, but these words, especially for you. <laughs> oh, Jen's back. <laughs> That's really good. I'm glad to hear that. It's like the old Glen Campbell song. You've got to try a little kindness. I don't know that song. Glenn Campbell. I bet if you hum
hummed it, I would know it. Are you humming it, Teresa? Because I'm sure I would know it if I did. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Okay. Uh, really. It says, add a recipe. The next prompt is add a recipe. And that's a 2022 one. That's another Lizzie Brewer prompt there because I thought I've got this lovely vintage cookbook. Some of the things I'm going to put in my journal, but I thought they'd be nice to add to a journal page. How wonderful. So if you're a pinch just add a pinch of love i know and a pinch of this i know oh kimberly so if you're doing it in paper add a recipe or write a recipe i'm sure that lovely barbara oh teresa has sent me on if you sent me on facebook that song mm. Yes, Aunt Bex. Yes, we're going in the same way. I'm going to write recipe, the recipe for us showing kindness. It's particularly kindness to ourselves this year, being kind to ourselves. Our recipe for kindness is. I'm going to add my recipe, and these are the ingredients of my recipe. Companionship. Um, blessed. Celebrate life. A little pinch of love and a lot of kindness. Two ounces of hope. Four ounces of focus. A cup of fellowship. And a little sprinkling of empowerment. Add, make a glorious recipe. <laughs> what is a diamond? It's a little, a little wood machine. So earlier, this is it's just what if you haven't got one of those, you've got your typewriter, your printer, you've got a magazine, and you can just use glue. It was just to remind me to use use my here here says west <laughs> and there's the song janice Glines has added the song glenn campbell song sent i've got it emailed to me i better not play it out online i think oh my secretary barbara <laughs> is that rude barbara <laughs> Oh, that's so lovely. He's already sent me that. Oh, I shall be listening to that. Thank you. Because it's nice to know the songs that you love. <laughs> oh, dear. So lovely. Hmm. A label maker. Label maker. Jinx. Snap. <laughs> you said the same thing. So I can see this coming on. Look, I can write in pet my my pen here but i'll put recipe recipe for no i won't do that now i will we'll move on with the prompts how many have we had are we do one more what no two more wow 20 this is a 2022 um prompt because we've had so many of the other ones West knows Glen Campbell's songs. They know them up in Scotland. <laughs> they know them songs. <laughs> Add your favourite word. So we've sort of done that one. It's quite word focused today. And that's that's wonderful. So we'll go on to the next prompt. Embossing. Embossing. Now, you can use embossing powder. Or I have a machine that I don't use very often and I turn the handle. And so the last prompt, number six, Aunt Bex, is embossing. Now, something I saw Devon do, and so you can emboss on paper if you're just doing in your notebooks. What I, the reason I put this prompt in here is because I saw 
Devon and she glued fabric onto paper maybe and made sure it dried completely and, and then I'll, I'm going to watch the video later I'll link it below and then she put it through the embossing machine and it embossed the fabric so I can't do that now but I will be adding some embossed fabric to this I might even emboss the candles because I think this is just going to be full of our recipe our recipe for being kind to ourselves. Ah, oh, I think that's lovely. Mm. Oh, Rebecca, take care, dear. See you all soon. Um, Rebecca has is streaming later, and we can all go and see Becca on her channel later. Somebody may mm. um emboss, emboss, Beth, dear, embossing with fabric, the link will be down below. Give me, just give me a chance to put the links in. It takes me an hour or so to recover and do that. <laughs> Look at Freddie. He's very relaxed, isn't he? Hmm. Oh, says you might have to go postcard size. Yes, yes. It, ATCs are quite small, aren't they? It's, Working small is quite a challenge. Your teacup applique is a pocket, so perhaps things will be sticking in and out of the pocket. Oh, yes. Oh, our Bex. Can I have that idea too? Because you could have the recipe. You could be pulling out the recipe. Loving that. Maybe on some tea bag tags. Oh, Mrs. Gigi. Thank you. There's lovely Rebecca's channel, and we'll be going over there later. Just we'll be going there soon. Let's pull an envelope and pop in some things from today. Do you want to pop some numbers? I'm gonna send you one of these. This lovely envelope. I love it. Mm. Thank you, Beth dear. Oh, lovely. Two, two links there. That's lovely. Let's fill this envelope with some bits and pieces from today. And my happy mouths are very small. They're just a second class stamp or a, just a small international stamp. Mm. Oh, well done, Tina. So nice to see you, Tina. Have you been one of the gentle listeners? How lovely. How lovely. So lovely to see you. Pop. Mm, I'm going to give you a recipe out of one of my mum's old vintage cookbooks. I'll pop that in the envelope. <laughs> and a tea bag, some tea bag stuff. Yes. What recipe shall we have? Rich jam cake. Melting moments. Mm. Oh, gosh, that's got my mum's writing on. And melting moments. My mum used to make melting moments. Oh, wow. Oh, how wonderful. Swedish fingers. Swedish fingers here, Mrs. Gigi. Let's see what Swedish fingers have got. It's a B-row cookbook, which is an advertising, some sort of shortening, some sort of butter. Oh, well done. Thank you. And I need to say, lovely Lisa and Tanya, when does their 48 hour stream start? It's a birthday stream. So I shall be popping into that. Well done. Thank you, Barbara, dear. Pop numbers in for yourself. Multiple numbers. Numbers in for other people. I'm loving that. Um, 24 hour stream starts sometime. It might even have started now, so we'll be popping in and out of that. Beth is actually streaming. Sometimes it's on Tanya's channel, and sometimes you think it's at 6 central today at 6 central. So for me, oh, I can't even do the maths. Six central, that might be about 11 or 12 o'clock at night. I can pop in, but of course, when I wake up first thing in the morning, 
for them it'll be the middle of the night and then I can um be be there yeah for them yes thank you seven eastern thank you Beth that's 12 o'clock for me isn't it Beth dear mm. there's Ruth there doing another sewing one today Ruth or are you having a break having a break how lovely let's see what Swedish fingers is Ooh, it's like a Victoria sponge. I think I'm going to get that one out and send that to Mrs. Gigi. It's just about time Mrs. Gigi has some happy now. Oh, rich coconut tartlets and meringue slices. Lemon meringue tartlets and macaroons. Let's send that one in this happy now. I just want to save the melting moments for my own journal because my mum used to make melting moments oh maybe next week remind me remind me and i'll make those next week mm. never heard of it i'll send it to you sister seven today your time in lisa's channel oh so you're on this evening at seven Seven Central. That's going to be a bit late for me, Beth, to be with you, darling. That's the middle of the night. I'll, I'll try. I'll try and wake up and just say hi. Mm. You've got all these numbers here. Oh, look at Beth with her sunglasses on. So, yes, and then on Friday, this Friday, it's a hop on Friday. It's a time for art hop, and it starts with lovely Mary at half quarter to six central time and it goes through the morning and into the evening i shall leave some links for these things below mm. we're going to scroll up right do a number yes thank you thank you aunt bex dear yes thank you mm. thank you um random number it's just like I get to chat and not have to write it in once a week. And it feels like I have so many things to say to you guys. 19, 19. Mm. Today is the start this evening of Tanya and Lisa's 24 hour live stream. I will see you in, in those. Number 19, who's got? On or nearest or under 19. Let me see if I can go back. Our lovely sister has got 17. Oh, Tina, old oh, book pages, has 18. Have I I've gone back? 18. I can't see any. Oh, 17, little sister. I think it's Tina from Old Book Pages. Tina, Tina, lovely. Tina, 19, how lovely. Little bit of happy mail coming your way, Tina. Great, good, good, good. Well, I will leave you. We're going to go over to Rebecca's. Oh, and I'll be just making up sitting here making up this happy mail for Tina popping some little bits in so you can do some with your journaling I have some teacup see this is where the desk gets in such a mess oh let, let's send you some teacup washi there how lovely and you might like a little embroidered teacup my yes i'll send you one of those tina right yes happy stitching everybody or happy gluing and see you at mary's lives and beth and rebecca so many ali going to try the fabric prompts peace them time jan yes yes Thank you, Janet. Enjoyed watching. Ali, hope your mouth is getting better, Alison. 
so nice to know that you were gently listening in the background. Hi, there's never any pressure to write, even at the end, never any pressure if you're gently listening. Tammy dear, so nice to see you. Oh, it's a fun way to start the week, isn't it, Alison? So lovely. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you all. Mm. Is there a link for the long life? I'm. It, does it start on Tanya's channel? I will put a link in the description box below. By the time you get home from work, Alison, dear, um, it will be in... Tanya's and Lisa's channel will be in the live in the description box. That, that is something a 24 hour live stream with guests. So they go to one another's channels. Mm. And Mary's on tomorrow morning too. Yes, yes, we'll be we'll be at Mary's. Yes. Yes, I quite often make Mary's morning ones, don't I? Cheryl sends a lovely pat pat to Freddie. Oh, so nice that you could be with us today, Dawn. So nice. Enjoy your time. And Jude, dear, I do hope all is well. You take care. And Christina, I'm saying goodbye to replays. Christina, the link below for Christina. She's done an amazing journal from an LP record cover. It's absolutely amazing. A lovely journal, so inspired. Oh, there's Miss Mary Berry, mm, all the way over there in chilly New York, sending you love. Oh, so nice to see you, Mary. Oh, goodbye replayers and goodbye gentle listeners. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Kat says, thank you for the fellowship. Yes, that was one of our words today, wasn't it? That's lovely. That that was one of the words that's going to go on here. Maybe that's a, a new thing for 2022 to collect wonderful, positive words for our, for our journals and notebooks. Oh, Thank you, Janice. There's a link here for Lisa and Tanya's. Lisa, there is actually a link for Lisa and Tanya's um, live hop there, Alison, and I will try and link that below as well. Take care, Becky. Take care. Have a good week. Have a good week. Heather, have a good week, have a, with, especially with your watercolour pencils. I think you've hit on something. Oh, Dawn um, is is West, um, Mary, and she's saying, hi, New York. <laughs> oh, goodbye, everybody. Oh, that's the link to Lisa's. That's the schedule. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, bye, Jen. Oh, so nice to see you all. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Mm. Oh, Kat, I'm just going to have time thinking. This is great because I'll, I'll just be thinking about everybody all week. And, yeah, it's so lovely. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Oh, bye, all. Oh, let me just look. Isn't he gorgeous? He looks doesn't he? We're just nipping off now to drop my friend Leslie's scarf off because when she we dog walked, she left it behind. And there's a little bit of happy mail for Meljoy here from Alicia. So we're going to go have a little walk and just a little walk around the roads to, to do some delivering. <laughs> oh, Cheryl says she loves you, Freddie. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs>